Hey what's going on guys this is Amir Hussain and you are watching Trick I know YouTube channel in this video i am going to show you how to make a 0% power consumption pc for your home or office this pc will be completely portable to do basic works like microsoft office presentation pdf email or web browsing so without wasting any time let's get into the video So guys, to make this 0% electricity consumption PC, I am using a MageDoc portable monitor. This is a 11.6 inch IPS Full HD touchscreen portable monitor. This monitor is provided by MageDoc as a free review unit. Free. I am using the Raspberry Pi 3 model B+, a single board computer which can fill your basic computer requirements in a budget using a sandisk ultra class 10 memory card a xiaomi 20000 milliampere power bank which is made in india i proud to be born in india <laughs> this power bank have an advantage of two usb ports so i can operate the raspberry pi and the portable monitor at the same time with a single battery using a Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse and a flower pot for show off. With the MageDoc portable monitor, I got this cool stand. This is a nice aluminium table stand which allows you to put the monitor on the table in a stylish way. I also got a USB type C cable, mini HDMI to HDMI cable and a micro USB cable with the monitor. I have one more micro USB cable with the power bank so I don't need any extra one. Now guys talk about the Raspberry Pi. If you are not familiar with it, check out my Raspberry Pi beginners guide video that will be useful for you. But in short, put your SD card in a card reader, plug it in a PC or a laptop, set a Deadpool wallpaper on your desktop, open the official Raspberry Pi website, download the Raspbian operating system from it and flash it on memory card using Itcher. After flashing, insert the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi. Now it's ready to use. Ok guys, now jump to our monitor setup. This is the USB type C cable for the touch facility, micro HDMI to HDMI cable for the display and the micro USB cable for power. Now guys, I am going to do a Raspberry Pi hardware setup. Here is my HDMI cable, type C cable for touch, my wireless keyboard and mouse dongle. You can plug it in any USB port of the Raspberry Pi. Now guys, this USB cable is coming from the monitor. To power up the Pi, I am using my power bank micro USB cable. Just plug it like this. So guys, we did the cable management. Now it's time to set up our power bank. So I am plugging the monitor USB cable here. You can see my monitor is showing no signal. Putting my Raspberry Pi USB cable in the power bank. Now guys, my Raspberry Pi is started to boot up for the first time. And here is the welcome screen of Raspbian operating system. Our Raspberry Pi portable PC is now ready to use with the keyboard and mouse. Now let me finish the installation so I can show you the inside view of the Raspbian operating system. 
Now this PC is completely yours to use. But before I go ahead, I want to show you some advantage of this setup. The advantage number one, if you shut down this PC, the monitor will go to the sleeping mode. This will save your battery. Advantage number two, this power bank have a power check button which can be used as a power button of this setup. Just press that power button for the once and your Pi will boot up. You may like this feature. Advantage number three. This is a completely portable PC so you can carry it anywhere you want. Advantage number four. 0% electricity consumption because it's running on a single battery and the main advantage of this setup is battery backup. According to the calculation, we have two devices with the load of 10 volt and 11.5 watts. So the total load versus battery capacity, we have 200 watts per hour. So 200 watt hours divided by 11.5 watts we will get approx 15 to 17 hours of the backup so that is the best thing about this setup you can also monitor the battery capacity with these leds four leds means 100 percent battery and three leds means 75 percent battery remaining by the default the raspberry pi resolution will not fit in the monitor this will look like a little bit smaller you will need to change some config on raspberry pi operating system to figure it out but how will you do that without any coding experience the answer is given in the magedoc user manual just open the page number 13 and 14 you will find some code here all you need to do shut down the raspberry pi and remove the memory card from it then plug it in your pc inside the memory card you will find a config.txt file just double click on it go to the bottom line of this txt file here i have a pre-written monitor code i am just copying it and pasting in the bottom of this config.txt now guys save it and close it remove the sd card from the pc and re-plug it on raspberry pi make sure your pi is not connected with the battery while putting the card into it after doing the screen configuration setup now you can see my screen is fitting to the monitor very nicely and perfectly now i can use the touch facility of this screen here we are opening a calculator you can see guys how accurate the touch is working i am moving the calculator here and there now i have a, another example for the touch this is called pinta the alternative of paint now you guys will see my creativity on drawing Here is how the touch is working and I can also save this drawing as a JPG image. Moreover, in Raspbian operating system, there are many useful applications. One of the useful application is LibreOffice 5. This is also an alternative of Microsoft Office. But the good thing is you can save your project as docs file or a PDF file which you can run in the both Windows and Mac operating systems. Here I did a project on LibreOffice 5. It's almost same as Microsoft Office and easy to use. In the Raspberry Pi we have inbuilt Bluetooth and Wi-Fi options. So we can connect to our home Wi-Fi and access to the web. Now here is the Chromium web browser provided by Google. Here you can search your queries and learn some projects. Also you can read some blogs. 
Now guys come to email. You can email your documents while working from anywhere because it's a portable PC. Now guys I am going to email myself and going to check it out on my smartphone to test how it works. So quickly I got my email guys, here it is with the attachment which I have created on Raspbian operating system. For entertainment we have a VLC media player, here we can listen music and also we can watch videos. For gaming lovers here we have a Minecraft pre-installed in Raspbian operating system. You can play it in your free times. Moreover, we have coding applications on this system and also a Linux terminal. You can also install other operating system on Raspberry Pi such as OSMC for HD videos, Kali Linux for hacking and, and RetroPie to play retro games on Pi. So guys that was my video on 0% power consumption PC with the portable monitor and the Raspberry Pi. Hope you like this video. If you really like, please hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and share my videos with your friends and families. See you guys in my next video.